Hi everyone, in this video we're going to go over how to start a show in Kamsis and how to set up the patch. I'm just starting a brand new show for an event that's coming up so I figured I might as well record my process just so uh, it can serve as a training video for our team and then I might as well put it on YouTube so everybody can have it. So first of all we'll go into uh, Magic Queue here, we'll go File, New Show, Erase Current Show, yes because we want to start clean we'll just start with the normal show so the first thing that we need to do before we can do anything is we need to get the fixtures that we want into the show uh, so to do that we start over here on the right with the uh, patch so patch will load up a blank screen here there's four main tabs on the patch page there's view heads view channels view DMX and view visualizer we'll work our way across all four of those and then on the right hand side here we see the additional uh, kind of sub menu and sub options. So we'll start on view heads and we'll say choose head. So to start it off, we're gonna use some uh, Astera AX5 triple pars. So we can just type it in, A-S-T-E-R-A. -E if you're on a console, you can use your arrow keys or you can pull up the optional keyboard. So we have Astera selected here, we'll click that. we we'll go AX5 triple par and we want it in RGB dim or five channel mode. So we can select that. Now nothing has happened so far. You can see uh, we're on the view heads. Uh, you can see that we've selected. Uh, so in the patch here it says it's selected and what mode. Um, so to actually add it to the show, we hit patch it. So we want eight of them. Uh, there's a little cheat sheet here. So heads at universe dash channel. And I'll show you a couple advanced options as well. So we want a total of eight of them on our upstage truss. And they will be at universe one. And we want them to start at channel one. So starting at the very beginning. And then one option that we have is we're not 100% sure that we're going to use the Astera AX5 as the LED par. So I want to leave enough room. A couple of our other options in our shop uh, go up to 10 channels, even though we are patching a five channel mode of the AX5. So what we want to do is we want to leave enough distance between each fixture. So if we sub it out, that we don't have problems later on. So to do that, I can tell Kamsis to put in a spacing of 10 addresses or 10 channels per fixture. So I'll go slash 10. And then uh, just to skip a step later on as well, I want to name these eight fixtures starting at 101. So to do that, I can hit the asterisk and 101 and hit enter. It says patching first head. Do you want to auto insert the heads into the visualizer? Yes. In the next video, we'll deal with the visualizer and get everything looking right. So right off the bat here, we can see that it's doing what we want. We have the Astera AX5 triple par in RGB dim mode, which is five channel mode. And it starts at address uh, universe one, address one. And you can see that it's giving 10 channels between each fixture. And the head numbers start at 101 through 108, like I wanted. The name here, I always find it weird that it uh, just names it what the fixture is, because that's not super helpful. I'd rather it blank, but anyway, we can select it and then type upstage truss. We will have more Astera AX5s later on, so this will help us uh, separate them. Uh, next, we want some uh, Chauvet Maverick Pixis. So we'll go choose head. Let me type again Chauvet. Select that. Mav. And where is it? MK Pixis is here. We want it in basic mode. These lights are pretty cool, but uh, yeah, you can go pretty crazy with the addresses. We just use them in basic mode and then patch it. So we want four of them at universe one, and we want them to start at address 76. And this one, we're not gonna leave a spacing. I'm pretty sure that these are gonna ship as the Pixis. We don't have anything in our inventory that we would be switching it uh, to, but we do want it uh, start at head number 111. So I want these to be 111, 112, 113, 114 and hit enter. Okay, so what happened here is we are 
we just lost our AX5 triple par. So if you go right here, it says view selected for some reason, and we want to view, uh, actually we want to view all is what we want. So now we can see that we can see them all. So the Stara pars, uh, they're head number one to 108, and the Pixis are 111 to 114. Again, here, these are also gonna be on the upstage truss. Put that in. Okay, so next we want to start on our downstage truss, uh, but we want, and we want eight of the Stara AX5 triple pars. So one way that we can do it pretty quick is we go choose head, and then we can filter on this right-hand side by fixtures that are already patched. And then we can select the AX5 triple par. So we patch it, because we want eight at universe two, uh, address one. And the same thing, we want to leave eight channels, or 10 channels between each fixture. And we want the name to start at 201. Hit enter. Then we can rename those. Downstage truss. Perfect. Now we want to choose head again. So right now it's already filtered by uh, fixtures that we already have in the show. So we want to open it back up to all. Back to Chauvet. Rogue R2 wash is what we want. So you use arrow keys to go down and find it. Uh, where's just the normal R2 wash? There it is. And we want those in 22 channel mode. We'll patch it. So we'll do four at universe two, hash 201. We want to give each one of these a spacing of 25. Just again, they require 22 channels, but we might be fi uh, subbing it in for another moving wash fixture. So we just want to make sure that we have that space. And we want to start the name. Uh, what do we want to name at 211? 211. Perfect. So there's the rogue wash, and then this will be downstage. Perfect. So next, we want a bunch of what's next? MK1 spots. So we we'll choose head, Chauvet, MK. Oh, what happened there? So we want to choose head. Chauvet, Maverick, MK1 spot. And we want them in standard mode, which is 29 channels. So we want, uh, so we'll do patch it. We want two of them. So these are also going to be on the downstage truss. I'll show you in a second. At 301, and we want to leave a spacing of 50 channels just because we have the space and we don't know what. Uh, we might be putting in, but this will probably be it. So slash 50. And then we want to start the name at 221. Perfect. So those are in. Again, let's name it on stage truss. And then choose head. So we want more MK Pixis. So we can filter by what's patched. MK Pixis. Cool. So and then we'll patch it. Uh, so these are on the floor. A key. Let's back out of here. Let's do our. Let's finish the downstage truss first. So we choose head. Open up to all. Chauvet. Ovation. We have four Lecos that we want for stage wash. They'll be in single channel mode. So you could have just patched the dimmer as well, but this is fine. Patch it. So we want four of them at universe two. Address four oh one. And then we want to start the naming at 231. So if you can see here, uh, the downstage truss is a good example. So everything on the downstage truss, uh, they count in tens. We don't have more than 10 of any given fixture. So the LED pars are 201 to 210, even though we only have eight. The moving wash is 211 to 220. The moving spot is 221 to 230, and then the Lecos are 231 to 240. So it just makes it sense. It makes sense to me uh, the way I work, so I can easily just work through it and call out the fixture numbers if I need uh, to quickly grab them when I'm programming. Uh, next, 
On the upstage floor, we want four more of the MK1 spots. So we'll choose head. Uh, they're already in the show, so we can uh, filter MK1 spot. There they are, patch it. So we want four of those since they're in a different location. So I generally try to keep like a universe per area. So there's a couple of assumptions that we're making with this show. Uh, one, we're gonna ship the Campsys console and two that we're gonna ship the NetX uh, ArtNet box. So that gives us eight universes. So it's not like we have a limitation where we have to cram everything onto one or two. We know we're gonna have an ethernet cable running to this stage. We're gonna have eight universes. So we can spread them out in a way that makes sense. So here we're burning an entire universe for the upstage truss, an entire universe for the downstage truss. And now we're gonna burn a un un another universe uh, for the upstage floor. So we want four of these at universe three, dash, uh, starting at address one, we're gonna start the naming at 301. Perfect. So then we'll name this stage floor. Great, and then we want two more Mavericks on the downstage floor. So those will be on another universe, even though, there's, even though there's just two fixtures. It's just easier to organize and we have enough uh, universes up at the stage. So uh, we don't have to reselect the fixture. We can just hit patch it. So we want two at universe four dash one. We want to start the naming at 401, enter. Great, and this is downstage floor. Now I do want to show you another thing for choose head. This comes up every once in a while. So we can filter by patched. If it's your console and you're the only one using it all the time, sometimes it's handy to store a bunch of fixtures in this user section. So if you go to all, how you get one in there is we can go Chauvet, enter. So you want the Amhaze. Uh, we have the M. Hayes Whisper. So with it highlighted there, you can hit set or clear as user. So that toggles it. Uh, so now if we filter by user, Chauvet M. Hayes Whisper is here. So that'll save in your show file. So if you're using the same show file all the time, this can speed things up quite a bit. So if we select the M. Hayes Whisper, we'll patch it. And again, the Haze machine, who knows where it's going to be, but we have the universes to burn, so we'll put it on. Uh, we want one of them at universe 5, address 1, and we'll start the naming at 501. Perfect. That's it. And then M. Hayes. In terms of where it is, we can just call it Haze. It'll probably be side stage somewhere with a fan on it. Uh, so that's it. All our fixtures are patched the way we want it. If we go to layout one, there is no layout one yet. So it's not built. But if we go to groups, we'll see here that uh, all the fixtures are, all the fixture groups are in there anyway. Uh, so we'll organize that eventually. But if we go back to patch, uh, view viz, uh, clear out of here. If you just go pull up the visualizer you will see that there's all our fixtures. So they're kind of laid out in the order that we brought them into the show. So the next um, video will be us laying it out in a way that makes sense, in a way that uh, we can start visualizing what we're doing before we get to the venue. So I'll close this. Uh, the most important part of any work is to save show. So we can save it as, um, let's call this August, because uh, it shows in August. And then we'll call it V1. Perfect. And then this is also where you would back it up to USB. So whenever you're saving uh, at all the various intervals, um, my system is called like a 321. So we have three copies of every show file. Two of them are locally and one is external. So uh, how I do the two locally is my entire campus file is backed up to Dropbox. So that Gives me one in the cloud, one locally, and one on USB. Uh, you really can't be too paranoid about how you save, um, so it's a good habit to get into that. If you're not using any type of cloud service, uh, it'll save your butt one day, and so will having it on its own USB. So that's it. Save show. Just hit enter again. We'll rewrite it. Yep, perfect. And then the next video, we'll work on the visualizer. Thanks.